Now that we know how geometry nodes work let's create something a bit more interesting. I wanted to try this abstract background animation made with hexagons, because it may seem difficult to recreate, yet is pretty easy to make. I'm gonna try to explain where the instances should be placed, so let's begin. Shift A to add a cylinder with 6 vertices. Let's go to top view and manually duplicate and place them like the final rendering. I'm just doing this so you can see what kind of geometry we need to begin with. We need this kind of lines with points in the center of the hexagon. Do you see what I'm getting at? I'm gonna erase the annotation and actually make them. Shift A to add a single vert. Go to top view and extrude in the Y. Type in 2. Select all and rotate in the Z. Enter minus 30. Let's add an array modifier and enter 2 for X relative offset. Let's add another array modifier. This time X relative offset should be 0 and enter 2 for Y relative offset. Now we have a similar setup like the annotation lines ready to be used in our geometry nodes exercise. We didn't create our instance object yet so let's add a cylinder with 6 vertices again, move it out of the way. Select the arrayed lines and go into geometry nodes workspace. I'm gonna pin it and add an instance on points node. Also drag in the hexagon we made with cylinder. Plug in geometry to instance and increase size. Why don't we add a bevel modifier to our hexagon first? I think 1.16 should be okay. Now in order to randomize Z scale of the hexagon, we need to add some more nodes. Let's add a vector math under vector. We also need a combine XYZ node since we only want the scale to have effect in the Z axis. We'll also search for Musgrave Texture for scale randomization. Connect Add Vector Output to Instance Scale. Don't worry. Just increase the size again to 1.16. Combine XYZ Vector Output to Add Node's First Vector. Change Musgrave option from 3D to 4D and plug in its height to combine XYZ's Z slot. Now drag the W value to see the effect.
I'm gonna increase the array counts at this point. Let's make a horizontal split and select the Timeline Editor. Then add a value node. Type in number frame and plug it into Musgrave Texture Node's W slot. It's too fast so let's divide the value by 200. That looks better. It's time to work on the shading. Select the hexagon and go into shading workspace. Add a material first and let's also add a color ramp and object info node for the color and randomness. Object info random to color ramp factor and color ramp color to base color. Click on material preview and there you go. All we have to do now is change the color to blue. Why don't we add another color by pressing this plus button? I raised the metallic to 1 and decreased the roughness value. We're finally done. It wasn't as hard as you thought, was it? Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please subscribe and leave a like if you think my tutorials are helpful. Thanks for watching.